everyone i welcome you to previous year question analysis for rbps ao form and in today's discussion we are going to do the micro analysis for soil science for the rbps ao form from 2022 to 2024 okay so let's just start our today's discussion for soil science micro analysis for pyq so we know that understanding the exam pattern is the half of the battle own and clarity for sure is an agri clarity platform is trying to help you do that micro analysis so you can study accordingly you can just focus on the important topics and the part of the uh, syllabus that is repeated in the exam so it's like a doing smart work right so yes let's just start with our micro analysis for the soil science in today's discussion we, there will be structured analysis for soil science subject and uh, which is based on the ibps ao for exam patterns of 2021 to 2024 last last four years will be the we are doing the analysis for the last four years okay and in today's discussion we are going to cover the year wise soil science mcq count that how many uh, questions or pyqs are there in these last four years from the soil science part then soil science pyq topic wise analysis that is which uh, are there any important topics or are there important broader headings from which the questions are coming repeatedly uh, then we are going to discuss the year wise soil science pyqs from starting from 2001 to 2024 so let's just start our today's discussion on micro analysis for soil science so year wise soil science mcq count or pyq count uh, shows that in 2021 there were four questions in 2022 there were three questions in 2023 there were six and in 2024 there were seven questions so uh, there is not a particular pattern that they are following for the soil science but yes you can say average you can expect around 5 mcqs or 5 uh, questions from the soil science part and it is the uh, like important easy important part for your ibps ao for mains preparation okay so yes now we know the number of questions they are asking that is average 5 so uh, we know that there are five questions are coming so from from which areas those questions are coming let's discuss that or let's find out that okay now let's discuss the topic wise analysis for the soil science pyq that what are the major topics or the headings from where the questions are coming okay so the first heading is the soil physics or soil physical properties we know that there are important physical properties soil pro soil physical properties like soil temperature soil color soil density bd pd concept is really important then uh, municipal color chart then soil structure soil texture there are different concepts or uh, in the physical properties which are again important and from this uh, in the last four years from soil physical properties the questions were like plasticity concept then tensiometer it is related to the soil moisture tension it is the uh, device which is used to measure the soil moisture tension then neutron meter is again uh, related to soil moisture and the electrical conductivity okay so these are the sub topics of the themes from where the pyqs were there uh, from these major sub heading first major subheading that is a physical property or a soil physics okay after soil physics next important heading is the soil chemistry okay so from soil chemistry the questions were on the soil colors soil ph salinity then sodic soil recombinations so these are the areas from where the soil from these are the areas from where the questions were there from the soil chemistry okay the third important heading is the soil fertility and nutrient management so npk nitrogen phosphorus and potassium the sources the major uh, chem the major fertilizers that we use in different soil these are the areas which are important from these soil fertility and nutrient management okay so the questions were on the phosphorus solubilizing bacteria then pseudomonas species or uh, that is again related to the phosphorus then rock phosphate is again related to phosphorus and the concepts of the green manure that is in c2 green manure or uh, green manure x c2 different uh, different crops that we use for this green manure 
So these are the areas from where again the questions were there from these soil uh, fertility and nutrient management. Next is the soil classification and origin. So in soil classification, the concept of pedology and edaphology, we often con get confused between these. So that is really necessary to uh, have a proper understanding on the, those concepts. Okay, Then uh, soil types, there are different soils, major soils of India, then problematic soils of India. So there are different concepts which are there in, uh, from where the questions are coming. Okay. And the rocks and weathering, okay? The question was in rocks, was that which of the following is not a sedimentary rock or which of the following is sedimentary rock? So you need to have an understanding on all the classification of different rocks. You need to have understanding uh, of the major uh, examples of that particular type, okay? So yes, uh, likewise, you need to cover, okay? And the weathering part. Next is soil conservation and erosion. Uh, the different agronomic and engineering measures are there in the soil conservation and erosion. So these bench terracing, the questions were there on bench terracing, gully erosion, ravining, and land degradation. Okay. So again, the important next important heading is the soil conservation and erosion. And the last important heading is the soil microbiology and remedication from where the uh, questions were there on a bioagumentation and biofertilizers. Okay. So this is the chart of the major headings from where the questions are coming. Now let's discuss in depth uh, all the uh, four years uh, one by one. Okay, so let's start with the 2021 paper. As I said, there were a total four questions from soil science in 2021. So let's discuss what were the what those questions were. Okay, so the first. Uh, PYQ on from the soil science was on the instrument. So the instrument used to measure the soil moisture tension. Okay, so the instrument is the tensiometer, and this is the part of soil water that is soil physical properties. Okay, so from this you can conclude that the different devices we use for the measurement of different soil properties is important. So just go and cover those different instruments devices we use to measure different properties okay so the next question is the chemicals used for reclamination of the alkaline soil the answer is a gypsum okay so problematic soil is the important part of the syllabus for most of the agricultural exams we know we have that one chart of the saline soil saline alkali and alkaline soil for the th ec and esp right so all the values of all the, these three uh, parameters you need to have understanding they can ask directly what is the ec for the saline soil what is the ec for saline alkali soil so you that is really important okay and uh, this year in 2021 there was a question on the chemicals which is used for alkaline soil in next year they might ask question on which of the following chemical you use for acidic soil so you need to have understanding on all these uh, types okay because problematic soil as i said is really important Next question was on water holding capacity in decreasing order. Okay, so this is again the part of soil physical property that is texture and its water holding capacity. So the question was not on the which of the following uh, soil texture has highest water holding capacity. They asked the decreasing order. So you you can uh, conclude the understanding you need to have. Okay, so the decreasing order is the first will be clay. Clay has highest water holding capacity, then silt and then sand. Okay, next and the last question from 2021 is the identify non sedimentary rock. As I uh, said, the rock and its classification and its important exam examples are important. Okay, so which of the for identify non sedimentary rock? So we have three types of rock, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Uh, then uh, there is further classification in igneous, metamorphic rocks. So just go through that and just uh, at least remember two to three important exams for each of it. Okay. So yes, non-sedimentary uh, is a granite. Okay. Uh, so yes, this was it about the 2021 soil science PYQs. Let's discuss 2022. In 2022, there were only three questions, okay? So uh, first is cheap and easily available ameliorant for sodic soil reclamination. Again, this is repeated, right? So again, this is indicating 
in the or highlighting the importance of importance of pyqs if you could have just seen this uh, pyq in 2021 you could have solved this in 10 seconds right so uh, in, in next year might might be some of one or two question might repeat from this charts right so yes this is impossible so the, that is why the pyq analysis is really important so yes the this is repeated and as i said problematic soil is an important thing so next is a soil type suitable for application of the rock phosphate so you generally apply the rock phosphate in acidic soil okay so this is the part of soil fertility npk its major uh, sources that we apply to the soil to supply this nutrient is again important the concept of complex fertilizers single fertilizers state fertilizers primary so that concepts are important okay uh, so go through uh, this soil fertility part next is soil and water conservation methods for hilly and mountainous areas so we know hilly and mountainous area we go for a terracing or a bench terracing specifically so there are different in uh, soil and water conservation uh, part we have different agronomic and engineering measures and those are again important okay so terracing bench terracing bunding then uh, contour bunding then uh, percolation tanks there are different terminologies right so go through those one there are different slopes that are uh, criteria of slopes or rainfall are there so just have an understanding over those okay so yes that was it about the 2021 now let's shift to the 2023 in 2023 there were around six questions so six mcqs okay so yes the first was in the property that allows moist soil to retain the shape after forces withdrawn so it is the soil plasticity okay there are two concepts actually soil plasticity and soil consistency which are opposite to each other so they are uh, so they are important okay uh, this uh, in 2023 they ask question on plasticity they might ask question on a soil consistency okay so yes go through those uh, properties as i said physical property is important thing okay next is a detector chemical which is used in neutron moisture meter so there is the neutron moisture meter and what chemical we used uh, in that moisture meter uh, that was the question okay so we use this bf3 uh, and this is a part of soil soil water moisture measurement okay so yes again next important question was on the branch of soil science studying soil origin classification and description it is a pedology so we have a two uh, streams that is adapology and pedology so go and cover those because they are confusing okay so it is from the fundamentals of soil science or the introductory part of the soil science okay next question was on the microbial incorporation of degraded contaminants in polluted soil is what okay so it is a bio argumentation so there are different bio remediation and remediation concepts in soil pollution so this was the question from that area okay so yes next is the term describing productivity loss in dry region due to land use of processes so yes this was like the general question from the land degradation like soil pollution climate change land degradation bala part okay so yes there were question on the soil degradation okay so here you can see soil pollution and soil degradation okay the next is a x c2 green manure crop as i said already said in c2 there are different crops like in c2 in x c2 so you need to have understanding which of the following is used for x c2 which is used for in c2 in c2 incorporation okay so yes subabur is a x c2 okay and uh, it is again the part of soil fertility so yes, this was it about the 2023 paper now let's discuss the last one that is 2024 okay from uh, in 2024 there were around seven questions okay so first is on a psb that is phosphate solubilizing or phosphorus solubilizing bacteria which is used uh, for solubility of which of the following nutrient okay so uh, it is the phosphorus right we know that 
uh, the bio fertilizer part is important okay uh, both nitrogen uh, bio fertilizers phosphorus solubilizing bacteria there are phosphorus solubilizing fungi are there okay so there are different concepts uh, bio fertilizer concepts which are important okay it comes in the soil microbiology and bio fertilizer part next is inoculum culture to enhance the phosphorus availability again the phosphorus a management question is there that is pseudomonas striata is the inoculum which we use generally to uh, give the phosphorus to the soil okay again soil microbiology next is electrical conductivity range that is ec range which is good for the management and satisfactory that is less than 2 decimal per meter okay so we need um, Less than two decimal per meter range of electrical conductivity for a satisfactory. Again, this is part of pro problematic soil and the minimum requirement or minimum range that is good for the satisfactory. Okay. Next question is on the composition of loam or the definition of loam. You can say the it is a part of soil texture uh, and structure. That is physical properties. Loam is we know is equal proportion of sand, silt, and clay. Right. So yes, uh, there were question again from the soil physical property that is the soil texture. Next, soil with the high humus and organic matter is called as loam. So we know uh, it is a peat soil, right? So there are different uh, soils like uh, you can say special or uh, unique soils that is marshy soil, peat soil, then uh, different. Uh, major the Indian major soils are there. Okay, so. Lateral soil, red soil, black soil, then mountain soil. Okay, so go through that uh, part of the syllabus. That is again important. Okay, next is charge of organic and inorganic colloids in the soil. So soil colloid is part of the soil chemistry. Okay, and uh, they asked about the the charge they carry. Okay, so it carry negative charge. We know that, right? Next is advanced gully erosion stage in the alluvial soil is what so it is the ravine. Okay, erosion is again important. The real, you know, real erosion, shit erosion. Then there are different wind erosions. Okay, so the we know that the advanced gully erosion, advanced form of gully erosion is what it is a ravine. Okay, so yes, it is the part of soil erosion. So yes, this was it about the last four years questions or the PYQs that were asked for the IBPS AFO. From all those slides, we can conclude that there are some of the important headings or the themes that are repeated. So we can conclude that those important three themes are the fundamentals of soil science, that is, pedology concept, the different rocks, their classification, important examples, and the weathering part. Okay. Next important theme is soil physical properties, soil texture, soil structure, color, temperature, density. Okay, density is really important. Then porosity, plasticity, consistency. These are the areas from where the questions are coming. Okay, then problematic soils of India like saline soil, alkali soil, uh, then saline alkali, acidic soil, and what are the measures, reclamation measures that we are following for these soils? Okay, then soil colloids, what kind of charge these soil colloids hold? Okay, then soil fertility concepts, then NPK, what kind of bio fertilizers we use for N, what kind of bio fertilizer we use for P? Okay, then. Different uh, rock phosphate concept was repeated. Okay, then green manures in C two X C two green manuring. Then bio fertilizers P S P as I already said. Then soil and water conservation measures, both agronomic and engineering. That is bench terracing. Then uh, soil erosion wala part is again important. Okay, and the major soils of India. So these are the part according to me. These are the things which are important. Okay, so uh, go through those. Go on your own also the through those PYQs you will able to analyze on your own then what that what is important and what not and study accordingly okay study smartly and uh, thank you so much for watching I hope this session will help you streamline your study it will help you strategize your study for the soil science uh, thank you so much for watching see you in the next session.